Hi, so I'm recording this short tutorial to show you, to teach you a little trick either to make a text content on a image for a card without using position absolute but using modern CSS techniques like grid and flex blocks so yeah we're going to add a div block right here in this section this will be a card right it will be a card i'm going to add another div inside this this will be the card i mean card wrapper it will be better yeah. um, let's add a another another div that will be the card content i'm using title case because it is this is like the official class naming conventions um, for a web flow it's not like the official but when i was researching uh, researching about webflow templates and how to develop them i found out that all the templates should should follow the title case class name class naming convention so i'm starting to implement that this is kind of like like bem i'm using i'm using it kind of like like bem so you have the block that is the card and the element will be like card content but like title case and not like this this would be classic bem but i'm i'm using title case so let's change that thing yeah okay perfect i'm going to add a image also right here yeah perfect I'm going to choose an image this lion this lion it's cool i think so so yeah we have the card i'm going to give the card uh position relative position relative position relative okay perfect we're going to give it a fixed a fixed width it could be like 14 rems i think i think i think 14 rems it's okay it's okay it's all right okay perfect so yeah we give it a <coughs> a width and <coughs> sorry in a relative position so we have this image we're going to add a new class name card image <coughs> that's it for now this is the card content so i'm going to add some things to the content for example a heading and some text to it so we have the heading we like h3 we have a paragraph right here perfect a little paragraph paragraph something like this yeah something like this and we're going to give the card some background color it could be something like some kind of black something like this and some little you know, padding right here also yeah so perfect we have some padding we have some text on it so perfect uh, now we want this text to be on this image so we can do something like this we can position this card content as absolute and just like that we have the text on the image and that's it 
but the thing with this is that uh, we don't have to use position absolute we can use grid and flexbox and i'm going to show you how to do that so let's reset this so we're going to the card wrapper we're going to to the card wrapper right here and we're going to set this to uh, position relative position relative yeah this card is position aesthetic card wrapper the position relative and display grid to edit the grid this grid will be uh, just one column and one row direction is row perfect so we're going to the we're going to the card image this would be column and i start on column one and on column one and row the same thing and for the card content it will be the same the row one and row and one so in this way they are in the same place so we're going to card content to set to display flex vertical like this and flex justify content uh, empty yeah perfect perfect we're going to erase the color background color and just like that so yeah just like had just like that we have this card i'm going to center it just for demonstration purposes perfect so yeah as you can see we have a card with the image and some text on it uh you can you could also like set like the card and add the image as a background image but the thing with that is is that the background image is not recon recognizable by screen readers so people with visual impairments are will not be able to to like to get the image so that is why this is a very nice alternative to that because in this way we, we could add a alt alt text to the image so screen readers can can say that out loud out loud so for example we could have like a uh, lion so right perfect uh, one thing you should notice about this is that if you add more text to it it's going to it's not going to change the uh, the height of the image but it's going to push the the text up so yeah that is something you have to keep in mind about this so yeah perfect so in this way you could you can have your image and some text on it without having to use position absolute i hope you enjoy if you have any questions about this uh, we can you can send me a dm uh, or leave a comment i will be happy to to help you out uh, with any questions you have about this technique and webflow in general so yeah